welcome to my little corner of the YouTubes. My name is Miriam and I am the mastermind behind Stitch Obsessed. This is my first YouTube video so uh, it might be a little awkward, a little kind of just trying to figure out how to talk to the camera and that sort of thing so just bear with me. Be kind to me. I'm just learning how to do all this stuff. I'm not used to being in front of the camera at all. I'm not, uh, it's not my strong suit, but I thought it would be really fun for me to start a little YouTube channel to share all of the projects that I'm working on and kind of give you a glimpse into what it's like to be a full-time creative person in the quilting world. So I'll tell you a little bit about what I do. I am a freelance writer for a quilting blog called quiltdom.com. I'll link the the website in the description if you want to check it out. I work for that blog and I also started my own blog about a year ago called stitchobsessed.com. That's kind of like my baby, what I'm working on, what I'm really trying to develop into something bigger, you know? So that I do that and then I freelance as a ghostwriter for quilt patterns, which is a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun creating the different diagrams for how to piece a quilt block and writing instructions so it's easy. Uh, that's something I really, really enjoy doing whenever I am assigned to write either something for a quilt pattern or for a tutorial for the blog that I write for. Those are my favorite things to write about because I really enjoy teaching different aspects of sewing. Uh, most of my writing is revolved around quilting because I write, for, I write for a quilt blog, but I enjoy different types of sewing as well. It's not all just quilting, though that is kind of my focus. So I'm planning on having different types of sewing projects on this channel. It won't just be quilting. My passion is sewing and quilting <laughs> and I would just really like to share that with other people and especially beginners who don't really know where to start or feel intimidated by other quilters that might be on this platform. I know when I start first started quilting it was a little daunting to go online looking for help on how to do a certain quilt block or a certain technique because these some of these women had been doing it you know their whole lives and they were in their you know they were older they were in their 50s and 60s and it was just a little a little daunting and many of them when they're teaching you know it's you must do it this way this is how it's done this is how this technique must be done and that that can be true for some things, but in some in some ways you can figure out your own way of doing something, which I have done, and I really want people to be able to explore and figure out things on their own and figure out a way that works for them to do stuff. And I'm very passionate about that as well. It's not, <laughs> there are no rules in sewing or quilting. You know, there's ways that, you know, things just need to be done for something to, last and to not fall apart <laughs> but there's different ways of figuring out how to do stuff that's a really fun thing to do is just sit down and try to figure out something um but as i was saying it was a little daunting coming across these people that have been you know quilting my whole life you know i'm 33 i started learning quilting when i was 26 or 27 and I don't remember, when, thinking back, I don't remember seeing anyone my age teaching quilting <laughs> or sewing techniques. I know there are YouTube channels that do have younger 20-somethings teaching, which is awesome. But at the time, I remember learning from, from people that I just felt like I couldn't really relate to. And a lot of times they were teaching kind of traditional quilting techniques or traditional sewing techniques. And 
I enjoy trying modernizing things. I like modern quilts. Um, so that's something that I really like and I'd really like to bring that to, um, bring it to YouTube and to share my experience, share kind of my work process of how I do things. I've got, I have so many quilt projects planned for this year and I thought it would be really fun just to document those and to share them with you guys. I would love to do tutorials and how to's and that sort of thing. So if that's something you would be interested in watching, go ahead and subscribe if you want. You don't have to, but I just think it would be, it would be a lot of fun to grow a community here um, of like-minded creative people that want to learn how to sew and quilt and I'd be happy to teach you guys. I'll also probably share kind of how I find my work. If there's other quilters out there looking for quilt related work, I would love to share kind of how I find work and that sort of thing. And yeah, it's, it's a, it's a lot. I got a lot up here that I want to share and yeah, I think it would be a lot of fun to share my, like I said, like my experience and kind of just all of the projects that I'm planning on working on. So thank you so much for watching this video this far. Um, if you have any questions for me or any suggestions, if you got something that you want to learn how to do right away, go ahead and leave me a message in the comments and I am all ears. I am ready to learn this YouTube thing and ready to help beginner sewists and quilters on their sewing and quilting journey. Thanks for watching. Bye!